If you're building a Web3 community, you're probably faced with the following challenges. Where do you host your community? Discord or somewhere else? You're spending a lot of time trying to improve engagement and participation from your community members. Perhaps you're looking to create leaderboards, airdrop NFTs or other tokens for contributions, looking to host awesome events beyond just Twitter spaces like going into the metaverse, and you want to provide your community members with a real voice through community voting. And you're probably trying to figure out how do I get more members to join my community. It's hard to cut above the noise with everything that's going on in Web3. How do I get more people to join my community who actually belong there? Hi, I'm Carmen, the community coach. I help mentor people in the Web3 space that are trying to build communities. And I have conversations every single day with people around which tools, which platforms they should be using for all the different challenges that they face. Building a community is hard work. You don't want to be wasting your time trying to figure out which tool a platform is the right one for you. And it's not exactly easy to just use Google to find the tool that's right for you. The great news is because I am in this space every single day, I am actually being sent new tools and platforms that are out there. I decided to create a free directory of all the Web3 community tools and platforms that I found to be incredibly useful to Web3 community managers. So if you're looking to create a leaderboard, for instance, in your community, well, now you can use my directory to find Web3 tools that actually help you build leaderboards. And if you're looking to implement community voting, well, as you know, I've already made videos on tools like Snapshot. and now with my directory, you can actually filter for community voting and take a look at some relevant tools for community voting. This is the first directory that I've built. It was actually really fun for me to learn a new skill. I used Airtable and Glide apps to make this directory for you guys. If you want me to do a separate tutorial on that, I can just drop a comment below and I'll make a video on how you can create your own directory. I actually think this is a super useful resource that you could create within your own communities, especially if your members are looking for curated resources on anything. One of the best aspects of using this directory is actually the filter function. I spent a lot of time making sure that the categories within the directory were actually useful to you. And this is all based on conversations that I've had with my clients. They've asked for things like, tell me the Discord bots that I need. So I created a category just for Discord bots. Other clients were looking for help with their onboarding process. How do we make the best experience for our new members joining? Well, I've created a category for onboarding as well. One of the most comprehensive categories is actually the token related category. This is big for Web3 because at the end of the day, we're using tokens like NFTs as the ticket to join private communities. That's where your members are getting the most alpha from being a part of the community. So Web3 community managers are looking for token gated tools that they can use to really amplify the benefits that the members will receive. Now, because we're in the Web3 space, I wanted to make sure that you guys had the ability to submit your own tool or platform that maybe you use, or maybe you're a founder of the new tool. So there is a section for you to be able to submit a tool or platform, I will review every single application that comes through. I'm already receiving applications, which is awesome. And it's actually introducing myself to new Web3 tools out there too. So you can just submit the information and I'll take a look. And I've also created a wish list section. So I wanna hear from you. If you're really struggling to find a tool or a platform that meets your needs, then please let me know. I have this section because to be honest, a lot of times when I talk to my clients, they say, oh, I wish there was a tool that did X, Y, Z. And funnily enough, there is a tool, they just haven't found it. And then I recommend it to them and they usually respond with, oh my gosh, I wish I knew about this earlier. So if you don't find a tool in my directory, then please tell me what your wish is. And if I know that there's a tool out there that can help you, I will respond with that tool because I'm here to help then I can actually put that out there on my Twitter with other people I know that are developing tools where they're asking me for feedback. What are the needs of people in the Web3 community space? Let's get your wishes heard so that people can actually go and build what you need. Now I'm adding to this directory every single day. So currently I have about 73 tools. I'm about to add 10 more today. 
and every day I'll be adding more. But just know I don't want you to feel overwhelmed using this directory. So I spent a lot of time making sure that the keywords are searchable, that I've given you summaries of what these tools actually do. If I've created a YouTube review on it, then I've included that video in the directory itself as well. This is really to make your life better as a Web3 community manager. So I'd really appreciate if you spread the word as well. If you know other Web3 community managers that need this directory, then feel free to share it. It's completely free to use. I wanted to put something out there to the Web3 community world, especially because it's such a hard time at the moment to keep building, to keep moving forward. So I'm spreading the positivity in the Web3 world. I'm super open to feedback. Like I said, this is the first directory that I've built. So if you think I could do better, then please comment below and tell me how I could do better, how I can keep improving the directory for you. If there's a category missing, let me know. I'm going to keep adding to this over time. And if you're really, really struggling with engagement and you're trying to work out how you can reward contributors to your community, then check out my last video before this because it was all about rewards that are meaningful and work, especially in the Web3 space because there is a tool that I've included there that is free for Web3 community managers to use. It's an awesome tool. And I think that if you're in the Web3 space, you should definitely be checking that one out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.